What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Lost Spot reaction videos. We don't do too many of these, but we got one for you guys today, right now. Let's go. Morning. The Lost Spot podcast uses adult humor and adult language in its broadcast. It may be unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we are idiots. Please don't take anything. We say offensive or the heart. <laughs> All right, tonight it is just Don and myself doing this reaction video. On the bottom of the screen there, you see Tom McDonald. He's with, I don't know how to say the name, Adam Calhoun, maybe, and Nova Rockefeller, who I believe is his girlfriend or wife. I don't know their whole personal story, but I do <laughs> follow Tom's career a little bit. Don, I've showed you several Tom McDonald songs. Yeah, and I've actually been a fan of several of them. I mean, I wasn't too much of a fan of a slow song, but, you know. Well, you know, I, I feel like he, so he's mostly a political rapper, I would say, right? Yes. Standing I've heard more up for the white race. And, you know, I'm not white. And I'm cool with that because I think his message is positive, not negative. Most definitely it is. It, it's basically saying that there shouldn't be any race at all. White, black, purple, exactly. blue. Yeah. This song is one of his non-political songs. And you're right. I'm not a fan of his uh, soft, slower stuff either. And mostly not a fan of his non-political stuff. I, I think he's made, he's made most of his followings off that style of rapping. Yes. Yeah, he has. But like you and me have discussed in the past, you know, political rapping does not necessarily get you famous. So if he's trying to switch it up so he can actually, you know, Hit Get those bigger, yes. You know, I don't know because so this video just came out yesterday or a day ago, according to YouTube, has over one million views on it. Ooh, that's a lot. So who's to say what's famous, what's not famous? But I personally think if you diversify, you get a bigger audience. Mm -hmm. My own personal standpoint, but I'm not. I'm not Tom McDonald. I don't know his past at all. Don't we've tried to get him on the show? I think once didn't respond. So here's your chance to uh respond. <laughs> He's not gonna respond. Okay, all right. You never let's, know. Let's, let's listen to the song. It has to be more of a of a verbal reaction than a video reaction, just because I think the lyrics outweigh what's going on in the video. Let's check it out. We'll pause it and talk about it. All right. All right. <laughs> I've been wild since my teenagers, high speed chases, smoking weed in parking lots of police stations. Couple CDs in my disc, man, it was pocket Nirvana. Skateboard deck was painted with the topless pick of Madonna. This brings you back to the younger years. Oh, yeah. Everyone had a topless pick of Madonna. And everybody, well, not everybody, but uh, well, most I was white people in had Nirvana car. and Tupac. Yes. Playing on in, in, their, in their CD Walkmans or whatever it was. Most definitely. And most people, I didn't, but a lot of people had like Madonna, you know, like posters. I don't, did she ever take a topless poster? Oh yeah. She always took scanless poster pics. I mean, that's just the thing to hang on the wall. Now me personally, I did not have Madonna, but you know, I, I was more into the dudes. Well, I grew up <laughs> loving my parents, so I didn't have a topless picture <laughs> of Madonna. Not even under your bed? No, no. no. I was a good kid. I was a good kid. <laughs> I'm like scandalous now, but I was good when I was younger. Okay. All right. Uh huh. I'm the same young buckaroo. Be the dudes for a mother dunkaroo. School. The president of the world, too. This, them, that, you. I'm a problem, but disturbing the peace. Bourbon bottles and vodka. My Honda swerved through the streets. Middle fingers. Wait, did he, did he say disturbing the peace earlier? Yeah, he did. Is that, okay. Hold on. Let's rewind that. Is that a reference to Ludacris? I think it might be. Maybe disturbing the peace. He generally does make references to like Eminem and other people in his songs, so it probably let's, is. Let's go back here. I think he said that the world to this them that you. I'm a problem, but disturbing the peace. Bourbon yeah. bottles and vodka, my Honda swerve through the streets. Middle fingers been waving since I was barely 13. And you might die tonight if you decide you're riding with me. 
I don't think anyone's dying with him though if they're riding with him tonight. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I think he cares about his music career, and that's okay. That's what bothers me about this song. I don't dislike the song, but I mm -hmm. also think that he's maybe a little gangster in this song, and I don't think anyone. I don't think he's shooting anybody up right now. It's not because he's white. I just don't think he's shooting anybody up. No, I, I think he's trying to act too hard. I mean, there, there's a difference of being hard and acting hard. And right now it looks like he's acting hard. Do, do <laughs> I, not, I don't I, Do not get shot up. <laughs> do not get shot hey, up. I, I'm more gangster than that. Come on now. Okay, but you're not riding with them either. No, I'm not. You gotta ride with them to get to get to, to, to die. I think. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I, I, but, uh, I, I have dated some, you know, thugs. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Still the illest cracker rapping. Yeah, they all. Illest cracker rapping. I, I had to pause it one more time because I think Eminem, he just hit top 10. We talked about it on the podcast. Yeah, we did. Was he the illest? I mean, he's, he's good. I do like, I don't get me wrong, Tom. I like yes, we, we do like you. We do. It's just this one's just a little too. Trying too hard. That's what I think. I think it's Canadian. They're like all nice over there, right? I, I think. <laughs> Generally speaking, yeah. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I, I might be wrong. Everyone's going to comment. No, he's not Canadian. But, well. <laughs> hey. Been hating, losing space for tattoos on my face. My hair is always braided. Mama crying, happy tears. Her baby boy is finally made it. Never look in mirrors. I get nervous seeing someone famous. I had a pack of cigarettes and didn't give a f. How's bad to the bone? Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up. First of all, <laughs> I had a pack of cigarettes. I remember I keeping them in my uh, in my truck. I had a 1988 Ford Ranger, and I didn't want my parents to know I smoked cigarettes. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my pack of cigarettes on the dash. <laughs> so my parents would see it. So my parents would see it. You don't even want to know my story about whenever I started smoking. Lord, I used to steal them from my mom. And then I found a chink store to sell them to me underage. We're not going to name no names. And then I got, <laughs> and then my dad gave me an ashtray for my 16th birthday and said, here, I know you're smoking. Did you say yeah. chink store? Chink store. Oh my God. I am not that. meaning no offense that. by it. I'm not meaning any offense by it. That's just, and it was, it was actually an Indian man who owned it. It's just what Oklahoma calls Nothing. If it's not a 7-Eleven or an on cue, that's what it's called. No offense to anybody. We we call no. We call them uh, <laughs> not that in Cal. I'm not even gonna say what we call them, but I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is my show. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> and also, you still drive a beater. Okay, I uh, do. And you the windows roll the up back, though. The windows roll up, but you cannot use the back doors. So if you get in the back seat, you're kind of stuck unless I let you out. <laughs> But the rims were chrome, flat road, just a bunch of holes, trying to see life like the glass half full. Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up. But the rims were chrome. I was wild since a child. Talk, I'ma lose control. Young kid didn't have a car. Cruise control, always sitting passenger. My buddy drove a Saturn. Okay, okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you drive a car and the windows don't roll up. But your rims are chrome. That's fine. That's fine. Uh -huh. okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh -huh. I don't think you got cruise control. No, I don't have cruise control. <laughs> what? Okay. If it's your a window, like, it's very. If your windows don't work, does your cruise control work? Maybe it does. But Maybe. I don't think like if your windows ain't rolling. I'm thinking like a roll up window, right? Yeah, a crank window. That, that's Did they have cruise control back then before the automatic windows. Now he doesn't even say. I just assume it's a shit car. Yeah. Yeah, it could be that his window motors are out, but I mean that's not gangster. I mean, that's just not your control's not gangster, dude. <laughs> dude, that's a shirt. The last block. Cruise control, not gangster. Dude, I got all these t-shirts we gotta make now. Okay. That's right. Pull up the weed pass it. Now we all laughing. Smoke the blood till it's gone. Laughs all ashes. Jump out for fun. Run up. Get that kick soundtrack of my life. Oh, dirty bastard. Tupac, Biggie Nash. It's all classic. Every Tuesday, new CD out the plastic. Ditch school, smoke weed, drink till I blasted. Master P was killing it. Lil Wayne was real then. East Coast had it. I locked like you can't get in. I remember the first time I heard many men. And I'd still be rapping if there never was an Eminem. Who the f you talking to? Fit a hat and Tim Boots. I'll kill any rapper and whoever sent you. 
There was now, a lot of rappers also before Eminem, but I do, I do, I do know that Tom McDonald uh, considers him one of his inspirations to rap because he's said lots of things about Eminem. Most definitely, even his song, he actually had a song that said "Dear Slim," and it was, yep. you know, he. I know he idolizes Eminem, but so I have a question though. Since you were in California. And most of us Okies, whenever we were teenagers, we'd get drunk in fields and at the lake and, you know, pass out and try to die. Where was y'all's in California? Because I know okay, you have. First of all, first of all, do you not think there are fields and lakes in California? Yes. Because I grew up near Lake Berryessa. Which okay, is that's lake. what I was asking. Did y'all actually do the same thing or is it like a country thing? You know what they call Okies is country. Or did y'all do that too? I grew up in Northern California. Uh-huh. The town like Vacaville, come on, it's Cowtown. Oh, uh, okay. Right. So it's pretty country. Not like it's, but it's a different kind of country. So I was talking about this today. We're gonna go on with the song, but I had one one thing. We were at the lake in Oklahoma, going to that mm -hmm. Rock the Equinox concert uh -huh. thing. California lakes are most like bougie wine drinkers from Napa. So y'all did not almost die in a field whenever you were a teenager. It's by different. Drinking. It's just different. <laughs> In California, lakes in California, like you got like Lake Tahoe, right? You got Shasta. Uh -huh. you, you, it's a, it's like we're here. It's like more redneck. California uh -huh. is more bougie, uh -huh. but it also depends on who's there and where you go. It's 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 a different it's a different lake experience. But okay. yes, people teenagers did get drunk and stoned and uh -huh. go to the lakes. And uh, anyways, yeah. Just, just making different. sure because you know everybody's got to experience it once. It's different. I want to point something out. But we're gonna hit play the song a little bit, and then I'm gonna point it out afterwards. Okay. I had a pack of cigarettes and didn't give a. How's bad to the bone? Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up, but the rims were chrome. Flat road, just a bunch of bows trying to see life like the glass half full. Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up. But the rims were Everybody cold. hurting Nova Giving dirty looks and throwing shoulders Outside bodegas like Mr. Bomby Coronas The type to slick a wallet and then flip IDs I was two middle fingers sticking out of slip 19 And if you met me, you either got robbed or bought me The mall rat bumming cigarettes at entrance 3 Skip so much and when I showed up, teachers called police Cause I only went to school to sell a beef I was a menace in a tattoo, troll connect with stuff and lip gloss In my pocket, shocking in a stolen Lexus Reckless, the plug for anything I did it all Okay, pause. What were you laughing at? I'm sorry. I have to. Now, don't get me wrong. She looks like she was a fiery teenager that, you yeah. know, ran her mouth and stood up for her ground. But, oh, she's not tatted up. That little script piece right there, that is not tatted up. I am tatted up. And I still have free spots. So even I can't that. You got to be that. tatted up to be tough. She's, no, that's what she says. She's tatted up. And I don't, unless she's she all hidden. She says that. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, let me go back to her beginning. Let me go back. No, we got I got to list this. Okay, there's where she st Okay, she starts right around here. That you couldn't roll the windows up. But the rims were Everybody cold. hurting Nova, giving dirty looks and throwing shoulders outside bodegas like Mr. Bomby Coronas. The type to slick a wallet and the flip IDs. I was two middle fingers sticking out of slip 19. And if you met me, you either got robbed or bought me. The mall rat bumming cigarettes at entrance 3. Skip so much, and when I showed up, he just called police. Cause I only went to school to sell a beef. I was a menace in a tattoo, choking connect with stuff and lip gloss in my pocket, shocking in a store. Oh, yeah, she says something about a tattoo there. Tat yes, that she's ta tattooed up. I gotta hear it again. Cigarettes at entrance three. Skip so much, and when I showed up, teachers called police. Cause I only went to school to sell a beef. I was a menace in a tattoo, choke a necklace, stuff and lip gloss in my pocket, shotgun in a stolen Lexus. Reckless, the plug for anything, I did it all. If you can find an ask around to tell you who to call, meet me at the mall. Trip I think she talks about her tattoo. That's a, a tattoo. Choker. Okay, that's a choker, but she does have script. You can see it right there where you yeah, paused yeah. it. She's got a little script piece. Okay, that is not tatted up. That is not, you cannot claim to be tattooed. I mean, yes, you are tattooed, but I mean, don't act like a hard ass. I'm not saying she ain't fiery. I'm sure she is, but this is tatted up. She Just looks, saying. She looks a little feisty, though, I would say. Oh, I don't doubt she's feisty, but I don't think she's as hard as she's playing. She. You know, a lot of women do this and not saying she can't back it up. I don't look like I can, 
but I can. But I'm just saying, don't say you're tatted up and with a little script piece. At least put some fake ones on to, you know, look hard. Here's, here's <laughs> what I want to say. Here's what I was going to say. They're going to play the rest of the song. It's funny how they bleep out the bad words. Yes. And then show the middle show finger. Show the middle finger. <laughs> oh, if you're going to bleep out the bad words, also sh- like blur out the fingers the there. Fingers. Last thing I want to say before we play the rest of the song is, I do, we do both like Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. I think that's how you say his last name. Yes. Great. I've heard Nova on some other songs. Also great. But Most we're definitely. giving an honest opinion and that's all that is to it. We don't know you guys. We don't know your background. No. We don't know anything about you no. on a personal level. That's we're right. just giving our two cents, whether it matters or not. It, it, it really doesn't. Ma- it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. No, it, it, it doesn't matter at all. But, you know, it's just, we call it what we see, right? I just don't want to get <laughs> shot up, man. <laughs> On shrooms, ripping off shoes, twisting up dopes. Everyone, I'm never gonna listen to you. 15 year old me will put a fist through a dough from group homes to infamy. F- you, I had a pack of cigarettes and didn't give a f- house bad to the bone. Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up, but the rims were chrome. Flat road, just a bunch of boats trying to see life like the glass half full. Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up, but the rims were chrome. All right, there we go. Now, out of the three of them, I'm sure she is the feistiest and will jump in the mix of fighting in a heartbeat. No denying yeah. that at all. Just well, she saying. Grew up in group homes, I guess. I don't know. Just saying. Just get a few more tattoos if you're going to say that you're, you know, tatted up. That's all. That's all. That's it. That's all she's saying. Keep, keep your feistiness, you know, go after it. Just get a few more tattoos. They're easy. On a scale of one to ten, I think some of Tom's other songs are a little bit better. Most uh, definitely. Hell, 1.1 million views after just a day of being out there. He has his following. The song's not bad. I don't mind his non-political stuff. I, he grew based off political stuff, how I found him. But I also think that, I don't, I don't know. It, 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 it's not a horrible song, but I, I wouldn't rate this one of his better songs. I think it's better than his slower songs, though. It, it is better than his slower song, but I just don't see him as a vocalist. I see him as a rapper. And yeah. on his slow song, he was, you know, being a vocalist, which it didn't sound bad. It's just not a fan of it. But that's my personal opinion. But this one, e- even though he's rapping in it, I just I, I the lyrics, it nostalgia yes but it just seemed like he was just trying too hard to be something that he wasn't and on his on his i don't think the hook was that great but you you know you've heard me try to sing and i'm horrible (laughs) but his political ones you can see and hear the passion in his voice and his raps and his lyrics and that to me is more personable of who he is and what he believes and what he shows to the world than this one that's just my opinion. It's just, yeah. We're allowed to have our own opinions. That's all the time we got. Check out our podcast on all podcasting platforms. This is just for YouTube. Peace out. Rock on. And much love. <laughs> this is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have us back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has to pin show so to get more episodes. Make an order. This is over.